we played basketball in a different world. The controversy. Most of the guys on the floor, seven out of 10, were black. In 1963, it was a sight to make your eyes pop out. The adversity. There are blacks on one side and whites on the other. They were loud and boisterous. The hate that they had toward us, the verbal insults, the threats. I was scared to death. It was because there were so many African Americans on the team. The game of change. I relive it in my mind <laughs> almost daily. This is more than a ball game. This is history. The team that helped change the color of college basketball. How do you describe that? It's the greatest feeling in the world. In 1963, the Loyola Ramblers men's basketball program won the NCAA National Championship, a remarkable feat, especially for a small Jesuit commuter school. But the Ramblers Championship still remains unmatched by any other collegiate basketball program in the state of Illinois. It's a little piece of trivia that most sports fans around Chicagoland already know. But what's even more remarkable than the title itself is certainly less well known. That's the story behind the Ramblers Championship season the impact it had not only on college basketball, but on a country in racial turmoil at the height of the civil rights era. That incredible story is brought to light now 50 years later. The ball's in the air and controlled by Cincinnati. The Loyola Ramblers and Cincinnati Bearcats met in the NCAA Men's Division I Championship game in 1963. A year when civil rights in America was at the forefront in the fight against racial segregation, discrimination, and inequality were being legally challenged in a court of law. It was evident that racial change also found its way to the basketball court, with two integrated teams competing in the first nationally televised title game. The country witnessed an overtime thriller that wasn't decided until the final second. All right, this is got it. Here he goes. He jumps. He passes out to Hunter. Hunter shoots. He off the rim. Brown Skipper scores. It's over. It's over. We won. We won. We won. Viola won the ball game. Oh, we won it. We won. The putback by Vic Rouse that upset the two-time defending national champion Cincinnati Bearcats at the buzzer will forever go down as one of Chicago's most unforgettable sports victories. Over 50 years have gone by since the Ramblers championship season in 1963. It's now memorialized in the rafters at Loyola's Gentile Center, but that banner doesn't tell the entire story. To view this exclusive Xfinity TV programming in its entirety, check the CN100 schedule for a list of airtimes or view this program anytime on demand by selecting Get Local and choosing CN100.